So you guys, it's been a busy, busy day over the last couple of days. I've been on the computer working really hard, um, fixing my clients' books so I can release a bunch of books, like maybe three or four books at one time. You know, my books and some other books. So I got home today and um, got a packet, you guys, from I think The Gap. Yeah. Uh, so I just want to give a shout out to Nicole. Uh, thank you. So I got Mariah some pajama pants. And she got a really cute top with it. And yeah, just got some nice stuff. Got a little black top. So cute. Let me see. Let me show you guys. I mean, this is babes. Yeah, it looks like a sweater. Oh, this is babes. <laughs> Yeah, that must be my mom stuff. Yeah, got my mom some sweat, so. Anywho, you guys, guess what? Today, my CD comes out. Uh, the Prophets in the Bible is on Google Play. I think it's like 99 cents. Get it? Support. Support team Moses, right? So tonight, um, me, babe, and the kids, we're going to go uh, to church. We're going to go to a revival tonight, so that's why I'm dressed up. I decided just to go ahead and get dressed uh, before I um, get too busy and you know I don't want to be trying to get dressed at the last minute so what's up team so you guys uh, it's been a productive day I got a, some stuff done for ministry launching prophetic training uh, so I'm excited about that um, the prophetic summits is like a webinar I used to do them like every month, um, but I decided to give it to my students, you know, for the School of the Prophets. And I also decided to allow people to have access, you know, that's not signed up for my school. So sign up for the Prophetic Summit Module 1. We're going to be covering lots of stuff like what is prophetic ministry, the do's and don'ts of the prophetic, how to have effective prophetic ministry, you know, prophets in the other fivefold. It's a lot of stuff we're going to cover, a lot of stuff. So today, I just got home and I received a package. I just want to um, give, I call her my Gigi. Um, Gigi Love, LaVonda Love. Yeah, awesome woman of God. She um, does a lots of Facebook Lives. You can catch her. I can't always catch her live broadcast um, because I'll be, you know, half the time doing other stuff and I don't really be on Facebook like that. Um, sometimes my baby posts this for me on Instagram. I don't get on Instagram at all. So I hate to miss her live, but you know, I watched some of her Facebook lives, you guys, and she is anointed. Um, very, she can touch the heart of God with her worship. And that's beautiful. Um, a prophet of God. So I just want to give her a shout out. This is nice. Yes. She, um, oh wow, this is really nice. She has pa paparazzi is her bit jewelry business. Um, please support the woman of God. Please support her. Amen. So this is really nice team. This is nice. It comes with some pearls, earrings, and yeah, a little nice. Oh, that's so nice, you guys. Yes, yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. So I'm going to rock this actually today. I'm going to put this on so you guys can see that. So, shout out to my Gigi. And then also, uh, this is really nice too. This is a pink bracelet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put all this on so you guys can see. Please support her paparazzi jewelry. Gigi Love. And we're going to put her link actually in the description. So you guys can get some beautiful, beautiful earrings. Yes, beautiful. May God bless her a thousandfold. And a little ring, you guys. I'm going to put all this on. So let me show you guys. Okay, guys. So I have on the earrings. And it comes with this little, uh, this, this pink. Uh, well, it's actually, it's, it's called this necklace. I don't know if you guys can see it. But it's the all the trimmings pink blockbuster. All right. So you can uh, contact Gigi Love. Amen. And ask her. So I uh, also, you guys, I have uh, the flirty, the flirting with sparkle pink ring. And let me show you guys how that looks. 
right here. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? Gorgeous. Yes, really nice. This right here, you guys, isn't that nice? Look how nice it is. It's called Spoken for Pink Bracelet. Spoken for Pink Bracelet. Nice. And these are called Midnight Banquet Pink Earrings. Beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yes. Love you, Gigi. So, you guys, I told you guys I was hooked. So, I'm hooked on these. So, babe got me like in the sparkling waters. Uh, I got peach flavor and I also got, let me see, strawberry flavor. So, yeah, I've been, me and him been killing them. You know, I kind of like it because it's, I like the carbonation, you know, but it's zero calories. So, yeah, that's, I don't feel bad for drinking flavored carbonated water. Um, so, you guys, I'm getting ready to uh, head to the church. Then I got to rush home and teach the school to prophets tonight. So, it's a busy, busy day for me. Last night was awesome. We went uh, out of town um, to this conference to see one of our favorite prophets. Um, Prophetess Valerie Moore, awesome. You know, I try to support other ministers. And uh, I got her book and... Um, we took a picture with her, so God is good. So I got a chance to actually meet her in person. She uh allowed me to interview her maybe a couple months back for the magazine, Rejoice Central Magazine. If you haven't seen that, you can see it. So it was just good to finally meet in person because we talked on the phone before for her interview. So God is good. But anyways, team, I ain't gonna talk your head off. You know, I can talk. I'm getting ready to get up out of here. Talk to you later. You all, I feel a very yes, something ridiculous is gonna happen in here tonight. Yes, it is. You guys are getting ready to witness something some of you have never seen. Lower shot, just shot right now, and 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 the and the high hat. Thank you. Something absolutely amazing is gonna happen in here tonight. Yes. Is your husband here? Come. And somebody record for him. Now, I did ask for her name, so let's not, this, when I call her name, I don't, woo, because that ain't me. I'm in tech room. Yes, yes. Uh, but one thing she did not tell me, when I first told her the Lord had a word, I saw Moses parting the Red Sea. My Lord. And I said, Holy Ghost, what is Moses parting the Red Sea have to do with Kimberly? Again, she told me what her name was. Okay? And at the time, I said, Her. What did it have to do with her? What Moses parting the Red Sea got to do with this woman? Yeah. And uh, I now see it on your shirt. <laughs> okay, I promise you I didn't see it back there because somebody was standing in front of you and, and I wasn't looking like I was looking at her um, and I asked her did I not I said is your husband here so I didn't know you and her were in any relation so you gotta bring integrity you have that's to right. you gotta bring integrity that's all right. you gotta bring integrity yes. Yes. so I realized now she told me my last name is Moses so mm -hmm. we understand so then the Lord showed me my birthday month. But then he says to me, Jill. Okay. Why are you showing me my birthday month? But then you say June. Because my birthday month is July. Yeah. So I said, does June mean anything to you? She said, no. I got July sitting in the back of my head because he said, Valerie, your birthday month. I said, well, when is your birthday? She said, July. Oh, got it. I said, so what's June? And why are you still showing me Moses? Because normally you just tell me that last name. He said, oh, because June is the month that I'm going to pull them from the dead place. Don't clap me. I said, pull them from the dead place.
from the dead place. What I saw, man of God, lift your hands as high as you can because healing gonna hit you too. What I saw is weight on y'all's back. I'm not going to say this because you are a real man. But I'm going to say something that you're going to understand. They don't have to understand, but you too will understand. Right, right. The Lord said he's taken the wheels off of your living place. I pray y'all get that. If you don't, come forward and I'll tell you what I mean. Do you get it? You get it? You get it. That makes sense to the both of y'all. He said, I'm taking the wheels off of where you live. Because where you live is not good for you. He said, what I'm going to do is put you on a firm foundation. Yes! Yes, God. He said, I'm going to plant you on a firm foundation. He said, watch, and it will have your name on it. Yes, God. He said, your next few months will be months of cleaning up. He said, if you put forth the effort spiritually, I'm going to erase things that will stop you from moving naturally. I need mean, y'all not. Y all, y all. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. And by July, you will be living in your new place. So, what is June? June is the month where well, you will close. I need somebody to catch it. Catch it. Catch it. You will close on your new place. But July, happy birthday, boo, because that's when you're going to move into I can't get nobody. Now, listen to the instructions. There are some things that the Spirit of the living God that I require of you spiritually, which means I need an hour before your day starts, yes. and I need an hour when your day ends of prayer. Yes! As a unit. I don't care if you got to do it on the phone. I don't care where you, when you have to do it, but he said, I need you to do this together. Because watch this. When you do this together, I'm going to erase the debt of the both of you. Last but not least, God said, and I hope y'all catch this, y'all have worked so much just trying to get there. The Lord told me to tell the both of y'all, I need you to date again. He said, I need you to Nabash. And place your hands on his back. Because healing virtue. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Is getting ready to go through your bag. Come forward, please. Walk forward. Because even right now, you're in some tremendous pain. So, so people don't think this is lying. What's wrong with your back? something called a sciatic nerve. No. Has anybody in the room ever heard of a sciatic nerve? Yes. Because when he said his back is in pain, that's the first thing I saw in the realm of the mm -hmm. spirit. Mm -hmm. That the enemy is trying to cause damage to your sciatic nerve. That nerve is somewhere up in here. And the enemy would have it that the pain worsens. Watch this. To cancel your business. To cancel your business to deter your faith. Mm. But I hear God say, Not today. 
For I hear the Lord, come on, possible. I hear the Lord say today, healing is getting ready to hit your body. Yeah, are there any prayer warriors in the room? Open up your mouth, Zion, and pray. Open your mouth, Zion, and pray. By the power of the living God. Straighten up every nerve. Every muscle. Pain, I tell you to cease in Jesus' name. By the power of the living God. I tell you to cease the tabas. Show tabas. What's the pain on a scale of 1 to 10? Zero. That's it. That's it. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, God. Y'all get on my nerves. Thank you, That's one. He said on the third time, she's not going to feel it. You better be a true prophet to speak stuff like that. Come back. Now, on this third one, I need 20 of y'all to holler, Jesus. Oh, y'all don't mean it. Come on, holler. Oh! Your time I shot. Tell the truth. Is the pain gone? Is it no, I don't want it to subside. I want it gone. Bend over. Come back up. Bend over. Come back up. Bend over. Come back up. If you got back pain and you're up here for back pain, come forward. Come forward. We're going to hit all this at one time. Everybody else back up, please. Woman of God, I don't mean no harm, but I've got a specific word for you. Okay? You're going to get healed, but I got a specific word. All right, y'all, we live in a powerful service. God moved in the place. Where you go home, man? Yeah. All right, Ted, I'm about to close this all. It's been an awesome night. I'm in the laundry room washing clothes at one o'clock, one a.m. It's cheaper to wash clothes at night, and I'm sleeping. It's not like this water been going for hours. I'm about to get up and find out what's going on. I promise you, it's been like the water been low enough for about ten minutes. Anyway, to me.